Hi students, welcome back. So in the previous video, I explained about what exactly the parallel virtual machines are and what is a message passing interface with an examples. Now let me explain you what is the main di difference between the PVM and MPI. Okay, I said in MPI if any uh, fault tolerance is there means any node is failed, the complete network will be dropped. But in the case of the PVM, whenever the fail node is there, only the fast host can be deleted or recovered from the fault. Okay, now let's see the difference between these two. PVM is a virtual machine concept. It's a virtual machine concept, but MPI is not a virtual machine concept. So no such abstractions are needed for MPI. And PVM is a simple message passing. It is simple message passing. But message passing interface is a rich message support. PVM. A communication topology is unspecified. It is the topology is unspecified. The communication topology means one node is connected to the other node and this node is connected to the another node. Means here what type of topology is not specified in PVM. But message passing interface supports logical communication topology. It supports the logical communication topology. And parallel virtual machine interoperate across host architecture boundaries. But whereas in MPI, some realization do not interoperate across architectural boundaries. So it, it can inter interoperate can, uh, across host architecture, but it is not. And I said PVM or the portability over performance, portability over performance. But MPI is a performance over flexibility. There's a main difference between here the P PVM and MPI. So PVM is a portability over performance and MPI is a performance over flexibility. And in PVM, resources, resource and process control, but in MPI primarily concerned with messaging only. It's primarily concentrated on the messaging, but in the par parallel virtual machines, it concentrate on the resource and the process control. And PVM is a robust fault tolerance. MPI is more sus uh, susceptible, of, susceptible of faults. So PVM is better for what and MPI is better for what? Okay, so PVM, PVM is better for heterogeneous clusters, resources and process control. And the size of the cluster and the time of program executions are great in the PVM. Okay, you have to remember that the main point here is the PVM is, be, is better for the size of the cluster and the time of program executions that are great. But MPI is better for, it's a supercomputers, but in the PVM, the supercomputers are not supported. MPI supports the supercomputers and here the performance is maximum. MPI is better for maximum performance and application needs a rich message support. So these are all different features and different examples and the different uh, characteristics of the PVM and the MPI. Thank you.